Decorate here. We're going to do a video about how to retrieve your Wi-Fi in Windows 10. So first, let me show you what's happening. So if you go here, it says no internet connection. So then you go to your network setting, and then you don't see any Wi-Fi here. Now this can be caused by three problems, and these three problems are what I'm going to outline in this video. So. The first one, and probably the easiest, is to open up Network and Sharing Center, go to Change Adapter Settings, and you see Wi-Fi is disabled. This can happen during the update. All you do is just hit Enable This Device. It is now enabled. And as you see, Wi-Fi is now back. Now, this is one fix. Now, some of you guys might say this has fixed the problem. Others might not. So, here's another way you can fix it. Another very simple way. So first, you go to Device Manager. And then you go to your Network Adapters you find your network card, you hit properties, you go to power management, and then you uncheck allow this computer to turn off this device to save power, or you can update it to, uh, um, to the current version, or you can uninstall it, reboot your computer, and then try again and see if you have the Wi-Fi option. If you don't have the Wi-Fi option, like you see, like you see here, where you can turn it on or off, then there's another thing that could cause this problem, and you see this a lot in Lenovo computers. So basically, you have to remove Cisco AnyConnect Virtual Private Network, Open Virtual Private Network, or Virtual Box. The reason for this is that these are unsupported virtual private network softwares present during the Windows 10 upgrade. So, Microsoft also released this statement saying the issue may occur if older virtual private network software is installed on Windows 8.1 and is present during the upgrade to Windows 10. Older software versions contain a filter driver, the deterministic network enhancer, which is not properly upgraded, leading to the issue. So, the way that you fix this issue is you open up your command prompt. So you can either do that from right-clicking on the Windows button, hitting Command Prompt Admin, or typing in CMD, and running it as administrator. This is very important to run it as administrator. So you'll see system 32 and that is how you know that it is running as administrator. So the first thing you do is you copy this file. And by file I mean code. Next you hit paste and this will delete a registry file located on your computer. If I hit enter, it says invalid key because I do not have a computer with any of these software on it. These softwares are known to be on Lenovo computers, Cisco AnyConnect especially. So that is the reason why I'm using a Toshiba. So that's the reason why it's not on there, if you guys were wondering. Next, you use this and you paste it here. I'm not going to execute this for you guys because this is actually a network configuration. It will configure your network to see that this registry file has been deleted. And so I don't want to um, execute this file, uh, this code. So after you do this, it should work. Restart your computer, make sure. And then you will see on your settings that you have Wi Fi back. If not, then you're going to have to 
go into your settings and I'll open up here and then you're going to have to hit go back to an earlier build and if you're in the 30 day period you can revert back to Windows 8.1 and remove any of these before upgrading again to Windows 10 if not then you're gonna have to reset your PC and then um, or reinstall Windows 10 after you delete the uh, virtual um, private networks. So, I'm sorry that you would have to do this, but this is a sidestep to step 3. This is step 3.2. I'm sorry if this has to go to this, but at least you'll get your Wi Fi back. So, this has been a TechRidge video. Now, if you're still facing these problems after uh, this, put it in the comments below. I'll see if I can resolve it for you. This video was made to resolve problems that were, arose with my video, how to manage wireless network connections in Windows 10. You can check that out. Uh, I'll have a thing on it to this part of the screen. And make sure to like and subscribe if you want to.